use what you have access to, find what's around you, uh, work within your budget, and then uh, really just trust the vision. I'd say that's really uh, what I did here on this project. I did take one workshop class in college. Uh, it was called Introduction to 3D. And honestly, we didn't really learn anything other than how to glue some wood together and not cut your fingers off. I left college uh, to pursue full-time art. I moved into a van to tour the country. And in doing this, I no longer had space or access to power tools. So my focus had really just shifted to painting murals at the time. So recently I was commissioned by Western Carolina University to uh, create a mural for the entrance to their university center. This request was unlike any other commission I've taken on. Um, not only was this a painting, but they wanted it to be made out of recycled materials. I approach this project like most I usually just start on the drawing board. I'm sketching, conceptualizing, and trying to figure out how I'm gonna put this thing together. I was excited to get back to woodworking after taking nearly six years off, uh, but I faced a few challenges. The first challenge is that I'd never worked with wood to this scale. Uh, my second challenge was I didn't have access to a wood shop. The third and greatest difficulty with this project was that it needed to be installed on a curved wall. It left me with uh, the dilemma of figuring out how to assemble straight wood onto a curved surface. So I wanted this piece to be rustic yet modern at the same time. There's a challenge there because I didn't want this mural to look like a piece of trash hanging on the wall, uh, which could easily happen using old and recycled materials. Uh, to avoid this, what I did was I sanded all the wood down applied a light layer of paint, and then I used a satin varnish on top of that. And I did all of this to help uh, keep a clean yet organic appearance to the piece. Uh, in between the wood layers, I used local scrap metal from my friend's warehouse. The scrap metal was still shiny, so I fell back on an old trick that I learned when I was making furniture. I mixed peroxide, vinegar, and salt in a cup. I then soaked it onto the sheet metal and it starts to react and rust almost instantly. So one of the final challenges was getting the piece from my workshop here in Atlanta up to North Carolina. Uh, my brother and I rented a U-Haul and we loaded the three uh, panels and the frames into the back of it. The fact that I had spent nearly a month making this in my shop, not knowing how it was gonna look in its final location had me nervous. And then on top of that, I had this constant uh, fear that the curved wall was just, was gonna throw the whole piece off. This was a dream project. Western Carolina University gave me full trust. Uh, there was no revisions and I created the piece exactly how I pitched it. It turned out that way and everyone was happy, which is a good day for any artist. <laughs>